Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, nice run. Really looked good out there. You didn't get the one you wanted yesterday, but you got this one. No, right? unfortunately, it didn't go our way yesterday. But it's it's a it's a great tribute to Mr. Lizza and Mrs. Lizza that this happened today. That uh, they're paying tribute to Mr. Lizza today. So, uh, and this is one that that he uh, personally bred. So, uh, it's always a it's always a great accomplishment to win up here. But to win with one that you bred is even a, even a better deal. So we're we're really happy for the Lizza family. Coming off too, you know, nice and tenacious going back and forth with that one. You like the getting that first one the way he got it? Yeah, you know what? We're still uh, trying to figure him out a little bit because it's kind of like he let the horse creep by him and then he fights back. We opened the blinkers up, really, the cheaters, so he could see a little bit more, and uh, that seemed to help. So uh, it, it, it kind of looked in mid stretch like we were going to be second, but he fought back, so uh, we're, we're happy. In mid stretch, he uh, changed leads as soon as the horse passed him and then came on again. Is that something you've noticed with him? You know, that's what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. He's, he's, still, <laughs> he's still figuring things out out just a little bit like normally he would switch to that right lead at the top of the stretch he stayed on his left lead I think he was like intent on one horse and got by that horse and then his focus went to the other horse he switched to his right lead and went on at once so um, lucky for us <laughs> what does Mr. Liz mean to the game Listen, Mr. Lizza, what he meant to the game, I'm sure there's, you know, thousands of people out here that can testify that not too many days went by in New York racing where there wasn't a flying Z horse running long before I ever knew Mr. Lizza. To me and the people that were connected with him, I mean, he, he meant so much to us because he provided so much for so many people, giving us opportunity, you know, to train his horses, uh, whether it's train his horses or be a vet or a blacksmith or whatever. He's a man, he owned over 300 horses, and, and more than anything, I've never in my life met a person that loved racing, not just his horses racing, but racing more than Mr. Lizzo. I mean, on, on any other year, Mr. Lizzo would be in his box from the first to the last race every day. I mean, it was like torture someday sitting with him, because first to the last race every day. But he loved it, and uh, it's a great tribute to him. He would have loved this race. He, there's nothing like a two-year-old to get a guy going, so. Good for him.